Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis and I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. As you know, we test a lot of coffee on this channel, but one thing we really haven't covered yet is the coffee maker. And there's a lot of competition out there for the single serve pod Keurig style coffee makers out there. And today we're gonna test one of the cheapest ones that's out there. This is from Walmart. This is the Mainstays single serve coffee maker. These cost $19.92. And we're gonna test it out today and see if it actually works. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been using this for quite a while and it's been working out great, but we're gonna give you an idea what the experience is like, how to actually use it and see if it's actually worth it. Because again, there's a lot of competition that's out there to get your coffee maker dollar. All right, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so real quick, let's just go over all the features that you can expect from this coffee maker. And like I said, it's one of the least expensive single serve coffee pod coffee makers on the market today. Uh, it does have a one year warranty with it. It is $19.92 according to the Walmart website and that says of June of 2019. Uh, it does have a push button lid opening which we'll show you here in just a minute. It does hold ground coffee and K-cups which is really cool because back in the day this little filter basket used to run you something like $17 or $18 and it is included. Um, it does have a 14 ounce water reservoir, so you can only brew up one cup at a time without having to add additional water, unless you wanted to do, say, two seven ounce servings, in which case you could do that. Um, it does have a ground coffee brew button, a K-cup brew button, and a removable drip tray, which is really nice in case you happen to get some kind of a flow over. So, going back and checking out the unit here real quick, you can see that I've got a pretty decent sized coffee cup under here that it will hold. You know, some of your real tall thermoses probably won't fit, but if you just have a reusable cup like this one, this is probably the equivalent of like a Starbucks Grande, I so I suppose. Um, it would fit under there with no issues whatsoever. Uh, I would go with like a drip grind for your coffee maker if you're going to get your own ground coffee going or something out of a can like your Folgers and so on. And uh, this is gonna work just fine. Uh, you can fill up however much you want to to get that to the desired strength level. Okay, it does say max levels right here halfway up the cup. And then the unit itself just opens up on the top and your K-cups themselves just go into here. You just put them in here, you set it in there, close the lid, and you are good to go. Now, let's go ahead and show you how you actually add water to the unit, because that was one of the biggest complaints that people had on the Walmart website. Um, unfortunately, it only gets four out of five stars out of 192 reviews, because people said it was overly complicated to use, and I'm gonna show you that that isn't necessarily true. Hardly nobody complained about having any kind of issues with them, with them you know, qu quitting working or breaking, etc. but they just feel like it's too complicated to use. So let's just go ahead and show you what exactly it takes to make a cup of coffee with this coffee maker. So uh, in my opinion, filling, filling this up is not really a big deal. In fact, you don't even have to measure out your water ahead of time. There's these little steps that you have in here. They go six, eight, 10, and 14 ounces. And anything in between is gonna give you whatever size of cup of coffee you want. So, All right, so to make that cup of coffee, all you gotta do is plug in the coffee maker. Okay, fill up your reservoir to the amount that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and go for about, about 14 ounces. I want a decent sized cup today. Now you don't have to use bottled water. Uh, the only reason why I recommend it is because many times uh, if you have a town that's got hard water, um, the mineral deposits can ruin your coffee maker. It doesn't take long for that to happen. Sometime within a couple months, it can pretty much render your coffee maker useless. Okay, go ahead and close the reservoir. And we're gonna be using a K-cup for this one. And I do recommend the Great Value French Roast Ground Coffee. I think they're a highly underrated smoky dark roast that a lot of people will never try just because they see Great Value brand and they're gonna scoff it off even though it's one of the best values out there. I wanna say they run maybe 22, 23 cents per K-cup. And my rule is basically anything less than 50 cents per K-cup, you know, the 30 to 40 cent range, 20 to 40 cent range is perfect for getting a good deal on K-cups. Uh, go ahead and press it down. Now, if we do have one complaint about it, it does take a few minutes for the unit to produce your cup of coffee, sometimes three to four minutes. I like to make it, take the dog out for a walk, come back, my coffee's all set to go. All you gotta do is press the uh, capsule button down here if you're gonna be using capsule and then ground if you're gonna be using ground coffee. And uh, within a couple minutes, it's gonna produce a cup of coffee. So like I said, the last 30 days, this has been my coffee maker and it's produced 30 cups of coffee. They've been consistent. They've been nice and hot. You wanna get as close to 192 degrees as possible. That's the optimal temperature for extracting the maximum amount of flavor and caffeine out of your coffee. Unfortunately, I don't have a temperature probe to test that, but it is always so hot that I have to wait a couple minutes before I can drink it. So let's let this go ahead and brew and we'll come back here in just a few minutes. Um, in terms of noise, um, I actually find it to be a lot quieter than my traditional Keurig brand K-cup makers, which I've got several of them. I've got one up at work, I've got one at home, one out in the garage. Uh, and again, this is a perfect option for somebody who doesn't want to spend a, money, a lot of money that wants a K-cup maker, a Keurig pod maker. And uh, this would be great for say a dorm room, it doesn't take up a lot of room. And if you've got one of those dorm rooms where you're not supposed to have electrical appliances, this is very easy to hide, which makes it perfect. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can hear there's hardly no noise. 
So unfortunately I don't have the uh, the manual, and this is before I forget, so I can't tell you if these little cups are um, dishwasher safe. I would imagine they're gonna be at least top rack safe. You shouldn't have to worry about them, but I just usually rinse this one out, sometimes hit it with some soapy water, let it air dry, it's good to go. Uh, you wanna be careful because there is a needle in there that does puncture the cup itself. And again, just the value, I mean the fact that you get the reusable cup included with the unit is a great thing because if you're somebody that, that is very picky about your coffee or you've got a certain type of ground coffee that you like, you're sitting on a lot of ground coffee and you wanna use it, uh, this does make it easy to use once you brew and uh, as soon as it's done brewing it goes ahead and shuts itself off now i do unplug it anyway just because i'm not big on leaving my electrical appliances plugged in except for say the microwave but again just perfect little unit you know and we're going to continue to use it if i have any problems with it i will let you guys know uh, it does have a nice steaming cup of coffee that it produces. It's got a little bit of crema going on there, a little bit of froth up on the top, which shows that it is extracting quite a bit of the uh, the coffee, the essence, the oils out of the beans. And again, it's one of those things where I don't want you to buy junk, and so that's why we do reviews on something like this. So let's let this cool down for a minute. We'll take a, take a little sip of the coffee and just let you know what we think about it, and uh, we will go from there. All right, guys, and if uh, you're a fan of the channel, you know that I'm not a coffee elitist. I will drink just about any kind of coffee as long as it's not decaf, as long as it's regular. I'm down, and uh, let's go ahead and give it a sip and see how it is. Okay, it does make a very, very hot cup of coffee, so you obviously want to be careful as soon as you get it before you start drinking it. Lots of steam coming off there. It does extract all the flavors, what you would expect, even though we're talking about a simple $20 coffee maker. Sometimes you can get by and you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. So guys, that's it. That's my review of the Mainstays single serve pod style coffee maker that you can get at Walmart for $19.92. Like I said, been using it for over a month now with no issues and I'm pretty happy with it. And again, I just, you know, I'm not endorsed by Walmart or paid by Walmart or anything. I just want to tell you about this and try to help you get a good deal. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you like or subscribe. we got a lot more content coming your way uh, this summer, so make sure you check it out. A lot more coffee reviews coming, too, so be ready for that also. But in the meantime, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.